All right, everybody. Dr. Mary Renzel here with Dr. Higgins. Hi, Dr. Higgins. Hi, how are you how doing? Are you? I'm good, thank you. So we all have those days as coaches, you know, where we're just kind of losing steam, you know, either right after lunch or the afternoon or something. What can we do with our food, our food plans to help those moments? You got any tips? Yeah, so you, you ne don't necessarily want to be doing a whole bunch of cooking. You probably want to kind of repurpose your leftovers or have some sort of snack. Um, so one of the things that I like to do um, is have a wrap. Um, and then the wrap could be anything you want, any type of vegetables, um, onions, peppers, lettuce, spinach. And then usually what I like to do is put some sort of protein in there, whether it's um, turkey or um, some pre-cooked salmon that I had left over or some pre-cooked chicken from some dinner that I had and put that in there. And then instead of using mayonnaise, you can make your spread something that has like a nutrient value. Like you can use hummus um, to add some protein to it. And then um, you can also make an avocado spread and the avocados are gonna give you that omega-3 that mm -hmm. kind of supports your brain and makes mm -hmm. healthy um, mm -hmm. <laughs> makes healthy <laughs> brain cells. Um, and then another good snack is fruit. So a lot of times we get stressed and <laughs> we just kind of grab it for, a Pepsi or a Coke or a Mountain mm. Dew or like a handful of candy, but that's going to eventually drag you down and kind of make your body have to work hard. So you want to go with those natural sugars that come from fruits. So your pineapples, bananas, strawberries, oranges, and then those are also going to have antioxidants in them. So it decreases the amount of oxidative stress and kind of supports your brain over time. Yeah. Love it. I love all this brain support. This is amazing, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it needs so much, right? I mean, I love, you know, the brain is always going, even when we're kind of relaxing, the brain is going. So it needs all those, yeah. right? Those great, you know, antioxidants and yeah, sugars, yeah. And good fats. I mean, it has to have yeah. good fats, right? Yeah. I love it. Okay. Yeah. So have wraps. So that's the key, huh? So maybe I should just freeze some packages of wraps and just like, all the, <laughs> like you said, the leftovers, we usually have hummus. That's a good idea. So no mayo, do the hummus. I love that. So then you're getting some protein yeah. in there. Yeah. yeah. So if you're in a rush, then you can just cook your onions and stuff and throw in whatever, whatever mm -hmm. leftovers. Yeah. And then yeah. it looks kind of fancy because it's in a wrap. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> and nice. then other thing that you can do to support your brain is um, eating foods that have probiotics in it. And you're also getting that evening boost. So your, um, your Greek yogurts have the probiotics, mm -hmm. um, mushrooms have the probiotics, okay. um, and things that have, um, let's see, <laughs> you know what I started getting into? Um, I started getting into drinking kombucha. Oh, right. What the probiotic, probiotic yeah. tea or probiotic drinks. Mix. And that yeah, kind what of you gives think? you a boost. It almost yeah. makes me, the kind that I have is kind of bubbly, so it makes me feel like I'm drinking a soda. Oh, but right, it's actually, right. It's, <laughs> it's actually, yeah. yeah, it has probiotics in it, so it's supporting my gut health. And right. then something that I learned a little while ago that I didn't know, that serotonin is made in the gut. So if you're supporting your, um, your stomach yeah. with the good probiotics, then you're in turn supporting your brain and helping it make these healthy brain chemicals Isn't that so amazing? that you're in turn less stressed. It's so amazing how everything's linked, right? The gut yeah. health. We hear so much about that. Yeah, it's really neat. It's so much is being discovered about the gut health and, and brain diseases or disorders. It's very neat. Okay. All right. Oh, these are good to see. Yeah. So kombucha. Yeah. Cause it's kind of sparkly. So it does seem kind of fancy. Yeah. That's right. Kind of bubbly. Yeah. That's neat. All right. Well, those are great. So that will help your energy. It'll feed that brain that's always working. It's very metabolically demanding, yeah. right? And then it will help that link that we all have between our gut and our brain. Yeah. And our chemicals and where they are and how the levels. I like it. Yeah. So yeah. maybe less anxiety if you feed that, like if you get the nice, you know, get a good balance of the hormones. That's what we all hope for, right? Like a nice balance. Yeah. Good. All right. Wow. Thanks for the suggestion. So where can people find you if they want to learn more about you? Um, people can find me best on social media. Um, I'm at Dr. Jarita on all platforms and okay. Instagram um, is where they can uh, find the most fun food pictures okay. and recipes and they can find the link for my e-cookbook, um, Good Food Now. Nice. I love that you have a cookbook. That's so cool. All right. Well, thank you for your time. Thank you. Mm -hmm.